markets in the region have suddenly seen quite a strong start to the week, with the MSCI Asia Pacific actually touching a record high in Tuesday's session. But the kind of acceleration and the gains that we have seen certainly invited investors here to consider taking some profit in the middle of the week. And this is despite the fact that we have had positive leads coming through from the US, with the S&P 500 index closing up 0.22%, um, prompted by some of the defensive and also the IT sector after a slide in the yields. So the 10-year Treasury yields actually dropped about 4 basis points in Tuesday's session triggered by the fact that the final resolution of the US government shutdown was seen and also adding on to the fact that Jap the Bank of Japan themselves really went on the dovish end in terms of their rhetoric in their latest meeting. For the markets, however, we do find that currencies market reacting in another manner. Dollar index actually touched a fresh three-year low in this morning and certainly the yen and the euro themselves have actually gained against it despite much of the market's expectation. So I think the currency reaction has been rather interesting. Of course, there, we do know that yesterday dollar yen itself actually risen following that kind of dovish comments coming through from Bank of Japan Governor Kuroda. But I think investors are really looking past that at this moment and focusing on the longer term views with dollar yen itself actually touched low, slipping past the 110 level this morning. And for the euro USD, it's actually risen as well, um, given the fact that we have also had positive data coming through, whether in terms of the zero numbers or the fact that the consumer confidence itself actually surged above the market's expectation. And certainly moving ahead, the ECB meeting in Thursday will really be one to watch out for. But for the current moment, we are seeing that dollar weakness prevailing and helping many of the Asian currencies higher. But having said this, the Asian markets, as I've mentioned earlier, seeing that kind of profit taking, breaking down into the internals, we have the ASX 200 itself um, against trend up about 0.3%. WTI futures rather supported despite the AP shock with about 4.7 billion um, build up in terms of the 4.7 million barrels build up in terms of the crude inventories and suddenly setting up the EIA for surprise but their support right now is helping to see energy sector lead gains only for that index the likes of the Nikkei Hang Seng and the local Straits Times in that have all been seen down um, Hang Seng itself finding a little bit of profit taking after that record high and uh, we do have the record printed this morning as well but nevertheless um, the pace itself is seeing a little bit of this slowdown in today's session for the Nikkei 225 as I mentioned that dollar yen action that did pass 110 certainly have been inviting quite a bit of selling in the, the Nikkei market. But nevertheless, I think the market itself is seeing that dip as rather shallow in the longer, the bigger um, picture. And certainly, I think in the longer term, that is going to continue to um, charge ahead with much of this focal point turning to Japan of late. So really looking at the market performance today, a little bit of this idling, um, given the kind of acceleration that we've seen, and certainly monitoring the US um, and Eurozone market PMI data ahead.